How's it going everybody? It's Rosine here for Astrophysography and today I want to talk again about Telescope Live. Now Telescope Live is an online remote telescope service and they approached me late last year to talk about, to review their online service. They gave me some credits, I took some pictures, I shared my thoughts. Major criticisms about that was the pricing. It was quite expensive. So they've recently revamped their online service and they gave me a silver plan to go back and review it again. That's what I'm about to do now. Here's the dashboard, this is what you land on. As I said, I could have been given a silver plan, works out at 19 pound a month. Again, we'll be getting onto the pricing in a minute. But the main thing is the one-click observations. Previously, you had advanced requests and that was about it. That's where you chose a target, chose a telescope, chose your filters, chose your imaging plan, exposure lengths, etc., like that. It's all very much manual. Now, good and bad things about that. The bad thing is if you're not aware of how that telescope behaves, it's very easy to overexpose something like what I did. One click observations takes that guesswork out of it. So I'm going to go to new observation. Now what one click observations are is when there's a gap on that telescope between when someone else is using it and when some person's used it to when the next person's done it, there's a gap in between where it's not being used they fill up that gap with a one-click observation. So the telescope is being used the whole night and not wasting any clear sky. Now remember, these are professional, big observatories, serious kit, and wasting time is just absolute waste of money. And all that data comes into the one-click observations and it basically becomes a communal pool of data. So I can scroll through here and see Okay, in one day's time, the big Chilean telescope is going to be observing the Tarantula Nebula in narrowband HSO. Cone Nebula with the a wide field, I believe it's a wide field uh, Newtonian telescope in Australia, etc. like that. So in this case, uh, let's do the Statue of Liberty Nebula. I've already got some data on that. I want some more. So here we can see that it's NGC 3576, Bright Emission Nebula, blah, blah, blah. You're not interested in that, are you? It gives us what? the telescope is, so in this case it's Takahashi FSQ 106 ED, and this is what you do. You go to observe now, and you click confirm. Of course the observed in date is an estimate because of over the weather, it's all subject to the weather, even though they are in remote areas, none of us can escape the clouds sometimes. And that is that. I'll get an email confirmation through on my phone saying that my observation has been submitted and I'll get an email when it's done. And when it is done, I'll go to my observations and here is all what I've got. Now I've had this for probably about 20 days now. And in that time, I've literally been hoarding data like a dragon. And here is all the data I've currently got. Three tarantula nebula, dolphin spaghetti, pencil. And this is what I mean about you can just hoard data. If I go to a mission line star, I have five Etacarinas shot between different telescopes. So what have I got? I've got three data sets from this from the Australian 2 telescope, all narrowband. So I have a wide field Hubble palette basically. And I've got uh, a close-up in narrowband and RGB of the core of the heart of Etacarina. And I've shared these images on my Instagram and my Twitter and things like that already. Uh, links in the description below. And the great thing about this is you can click more information and it will give you this preview image. Now a computer's made this image, an algorithm has run this image and you can just download that picture if you want. You can just download this. It's a very nice HSO image already, uh, SHO image already, sorry. Or you can click see original data and you can just select all and download this data set. Run it through your own stacking programs, run it through your own editing programs, make it your own. The other thing is the pro data sets. So pro data sets are, again, big pools of data that's been amassed by uh, the team at Telescope Live, and you can download these. You have to be silver or gold, and it will tell you standard is silver. So here we've got a Rosette Nebula here. It was publicized on the 3rd of January, total exposure of two hours shot with Chile 4 and it's equivalent if you had bought this image it's 95 credits that's 95 pounds basically there also are very large um, data sets 
like this NGC 3324 premium. So you have to be in gold. But what is it? It's three hours and 10 minutes of images on the big Chilean telescope. 405 credits this image would cost. That's 405 pounds basically. But you can just download it if you're on the gold, gold bundle. And we've got M16, the Eagle Nebula here. Again, the big Chilean telescope, three hours and 10 minutes long, 270 credits this would have cost. I can just click download. And there it is, off it goes, download to my machine. Let's talk about the pricing now, let's talk about the plans. So credits are still basically one pound a credit. If we go into it, 50 credits is 50 pounds sterling, so it's still one to one. So we're gonna look at the plans that you can subscribe to. Bronze, silver and gold. The bronze plan at four pound a month, four pound a month, two one-click observations at a time, so two simultaneous ones at a time. You can't do advanced requests, Credits aren't one pound of credit, you get no discounts, but you can get the uh, standard tutorials and you can cancel at any time. And yeah, you can only submit two data uh, one click observations at a time, but if you are patient and you keep checking the website, you can click, you can click, you can click and get more and more and more and more data and you can just absolutely amass a lot of data. Silver plan, 19 pound a month, five uh, five observations at a time, you can do advanced requests and you can get credits at one pound of credit. You can get access to the standard data plans, premium tutorials, etc., like that. I mean, you can you can see the screen right now. The gold is forty pound a month, forty nine pound a month, pretty expensive. I'm not being compensated to review this. I've not been given any money or anything like that. This has not been an advertisement for Telescope Live. They gave me a silver plan so I could review the service. But when my silver plan is finished, I think I'm just gonna to go to the bronze service, right? Four pound a month for two one-click observations at any time. And you can just keep going back to it and get more and more. I think the bronze plan is unbeatable. 19 pound a month for the pro data sets could be worth it, but again, you can cancel at any time. So you can just get your silver plan if you fancy it for a month and then go back down to bronze. I, I really like this new system that they've got going here. The one-click observations, the pro data sets, they're fantastic, but the pricing, especially that bronze plan, I think is really good. I'll do an image roll at the end of the video so I can show you the images that I've, done, I've processed using the data from Telescope Live and that Eagle Nebula from the pro data set. But yeah, I really am liking what Telescope Live are doing these days. My biggest criticism of Telescope Live originally was well, criticisms were the pricing is very expensive and the pictures didn't feel like my own. And the pictures still don't feel like my own because they aren't really, but it's a lot easier to recommend to people these days because of these plans. So what do you think of using remote telescopes? Are you gonna check out the Telescope Live service now that they've revamped it like this? Go check it out yourself. And let me know what you feel down in the comments below. This is just a quick video reviewing the new service and i'm quite fond of it now very much so but let me know what you think of it down in the comments below thanks very much for watching everybody i hope you have clear skies not like we've had in britain of three solid months of cloud basically keep looking up keep them cameras clicking see you later